Greetings, Timeless Sagas fans. Welcome back to another riveting journey through the annals of history. Today, we'll be diving into the era of paranoia, espionage, and yes, a whole lot of red, the Red Scare. Now, before we get into the nitty-gritty, let's set the stage. Imagine you're living in a world where two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, have just emerged victorious from World War II. Both countries have nuclear weapons, and they're not exactly on the friendliest of terms. You've got yourself a Cold War, folks. But what is a Red Scare, you ask? Well, the term refers to not one, but two moments in American history when fear of communism ran rampant. The first Red Scare took place from 1917 to 1920, and the second from the late 1940s to the late 1950s. People were paranoid, convinced that commie spies were lurking around every corner, and that the Red Menace was out to get them. Now, you might think this sounds a little over the top, but remember, this was the height of the Cold War, and tensions between the US and the Soviet Union were at an all-time high. It was a time of McCarthyism, named after Senator Joseph McCarthy, who became infamous for his aggressive pursuit of suspected communists in the US government and other institutions. But let's backtrack a bit. The first Red Scare was fueled by the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia, which saw the rise of communism and the establishment of the Soviet Union. Americans were worried that this radical ideology might spread to their homeland, and this fear was further stoked by labor strikes and the rise of the Socialist Party in the United States. So, how did the government respond to this perceived threat? Well, there were mass arrests, deportations, and even a crackdown on free speech. The Espionage Act of 1917 and the Sedition Act of 1918 made it a crime to criticize the government, the military, or the war effort. Thousands were arrested, and many were deported without a fair trial. Things simmered down for a while, but the flame was reignited in the late 1940s. The second Red Scare was kicked off by a few key events. The Soviet Union's development of nuclear weapons, the Chinese Communist Revolution, and the Korean War. Americans were once again terrified of the spread of communism, and this time, the fear was even more intense. Enter Senator McCarthy, the man who would become the face of the second Red Scare. He claimed to have a list of known communists working in the U.S. government, and he embarked on a relentless crusade to root out these alleged traitors. Over the next few years, thousands of people were accused of being communists or communist sympathizers, leading to ruined careers, shattered lives, and even suicides. But it wasn't just McCarthy who was fanning the flames. The House Un-American Activities Committee, HUAC, held public hearings where they grilled suspected communists, often using questionable tactics and evidence. And let's not forget the Hollywood Ten, a group of screenwriters and directors who were blacklisted for their alleged communist ties. Talk about drama. So, how did this era of paranoia and fear come to an end? Well, it was a mix of factors. McCarthy's downfall began when he took on the U.S. Army, accusing them of being soft on communism. This led to the famous Army McCarthy hearings, where McCarthy's tactics were exposed, and his credibility took a major hit. Public opinion began to turn against him, and he was eventually censured by the Senate. The second Red Scare also fizzled out as geopolitical tensions eased, and the American public grew tired of the constant fearmongering. By the late 1950s, the threat of communism no longer seemed as imminent, and people began to question the tactics used during the height of the Red Scare. So, there you have it, a whirlwind tour of the Red Scare and its impact on American society. It's a fascinating and somewhat chilling period in history, reminding us of the power of fear and the importance of questioning authority. As always, thanks for watching Timeless Sagas. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating journeys through the depths of history. Until next time, stay curious, and keep exploring the stories that make our past so timeless.